we have to be aware of these problems. And we have to, again, be ahead of the curve and anticipate what pros and cons you can have with AI. That is, this is not a workshop or this is not, I'm not going to preach for AI as if it is something perfect because it isn't. And what we want is to develop AI fluency, develop critical thinking about how you can use AI and technology in general in the most effective way that can help you and help your learners. So evaluate ease of use. We were just talking about this. I can present you with a, <coughs> with a tool and then you will find that it's impossible to use. Impossible perhaps at the beginning because you are not used to it. And so how convenient, how easy is the AI tool that you are going to use? How easy, how convenient is it to use in the classroom? Because there is a difference between theory and practice. They can preach you uh, all day about how you have to be up to date, how you have to use technology. And then when you are going to use it, you'll find that it is not that easy to use or it is not that convenient. So we are going to look at that. Determine accountability. Now, of course, in terms of the learners, when we use AI, we are not always sure that they are using it in the way that we want it to be used. You can give your little sister, your child, your little brother, your cousin, your phone, and he says, yeah, mama, I'm going to, uh, to study, I'm going to read. Mm -hmm. And then you find that they are playing a, a video game. Yeah. So this is what we are saying. We are saying that we want to empower our learners with these AI tools, but we have to make sure and find ways in which we have to determine accountability. That is, that they are using it in the way we want, to, want, them, to, want them to use it, and for the purposes that we want them to use them. All of these are about AI fluency. And mind you, right now, all of this is new. So there's no one book that will tell you how to do that. So in fact, we are walking into uncharted territory. Territory that we know nothing about yet. We don't know even the risks of using AI yet. So we have to develop this kind of AI fluency or critical thinking when it comes to using AI. Then pilot and improve. Pilot is to try this with a limited number. If you have many classes, don't start <coughs> all of them at once with using the AI tools, for example, that we are going to talk about. Pilot first. Try it with a limited number first so that you get used to it. So that you identify the potential uses, that you see the pros and cons, that you evaluate the ease of use. Then you can generate and generalize this to other uh, groups, students, levels that you have. So pilot and improve. So there is a lot of work there on reflection. 